now let's actually start editing in DaVinci Resolve. So what are we gonna do? We just open DaVinci Resolve here. And as you can see that I'm using the studio version, which is the paid version. But if you're using the free version, that's also really fine because I think 80% or 85% of the thing what I'm gonna show you, that is all in the free version. So this is how you open your project. You go to untitled, you know, just click here. And you can, maybe I can just do uh, DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve 20 Masterclass. And then you just do create project and media location. You can either do here on the desktop or you can change it, but this we can also change later. So don't worry. So you just name the project and then we go create. So this is what comes up. This is where I left off in the last section in my last project and I can also see that I have this vertical video uh, you could have a horizontal video doesn't matter but before we go and start editing in the image result there are a few settings that we need to change because later those settings are almost impossible to change so let's do that first thing what we're gonna be changing is the project settings so if we go here if you see here in the right hand side corner there is like a settings button which says project settings so i'll just open that hang on i'll also just make it full screen so you can see here project settings and once i open the project settings then this new window pops up and on the left hand side there is a list of things and we can go through all of that but i would only show you what you need to know because davinci resolve it's such a big software so massive and it can be really complicated but in this entire class I'm only gonna show you what is required because if I show you everything, then it's just so much information for you at the same time. Anyways, so what are we gonna do? We go to master settings. Here, as you saw that I had this vertical video open, that was because use vertical resolution was checked. So I would just uncheck it. You don't need to if you didn't have it. And then here we have timeline resolution. So timeline resolution is the resolution in which we're gonna be seeing the playback of the video. So even if you have shot videos in 4K, it doesn't matter. You can do the timeline resolution in 1920 by 1080, which is high definition. If you want the videos to play even smoother, then you can do the timeline resolution to 1280 by 720, which is the 720 pixels. But I would just keep it to 1920 by 1080 and here pixel aspect you choose to square and timeline frame rate i would choose either 23.976 or 24 because all the videos what we're going to be editing on they're all in 24 frames per second and something to really keep in mind this is a time where you can change the frame rates if you are editing a video and in the middle if you decide to change the frame rates it's impossible. So you have to really be careful while choosing the frame rates. If you have shot everything in 25 frames per second, then you should choose the 25 frames per second frame rate. But here we're gonna be choosing 24 because all the videos what I have from my Sony camera, from my iPhone, from my drone, they're all in 24 frames per second. But in my previous class, some someone asked me that, hey, half of my videos are in 24 frames per second half of my videos are in 60 frames per second which frame rate should i choose that was a really good question and in that case you should still choose 24 frames per second because it's difficult to play a 24 frames per second video into a 60 frame per second video but it's easier to play a 60 frame per second video into a 24 frames per second if it doesn't make sense don't worry it's just super nerdy thing some of you might have this question, that's why I explained, but keep the frame rates to 24 or 25. If you're not sure what is the frame rate of the footage you filmed, go check in your camera settings. Whatever video I'm giving you, they're all in 24, so don't worry. But yeah, go check the camera settings at what frame rates your camera filmed the video at. We're gonna be doing this, and then here I wouldn't change anything. If something is different in your system, you can change it to this setting. Next, we're gonna be going to optimized media and render cache. So here, later on, I'm gonna be also showing you 
how to edit videos faster you know like sometimes our timeline is lagging sometimes the video playback is lagging then we convert the videos into proxy and that helps us to you know have a smooth playback so for mac users you can copy the settings but if you're a window user then you should choose this setting the hq dnx hrhq in all of the formats so here as well hq or if you're gonna go even lower quality you can choose sq but i would just choose hq if i were you and if i'm editing in windows and then here project media location this you can choose wherever you have empty space so i chose the project media location to desktop just for the sake of this video proxy generation location so this you really should choose the place where you have a lot of space or whatever drive is faster what happens in the winter resolve is that if you generate a proxy so that kind of generates a low resolution video in the winter resolve so that the videos can play easily and that low resolution videos if it's like 500 video clips that would still need space so you have to choose this location really wisely that where i want my proxy media this is not the original videos what you would be editing this is just a proxy media and that you can delete it after you're done editing the video project cache files location this also you have to choose wisely choose the places where you have enough space and gallery still location this also you can just choose it wherever you have chosen the other things i will tell you later what are these gallery still location it's not really needed now so yeah here we just change the proxy resolution you know the proxy media format the video folders location the proxy and the cache folders location and we change the frame rate and timeline resolution black magic cloud i don't do anything image scaling i don't do anything now here i do something which is really really important so in davinci resolve there can be a lot of videos on the internet about what color management you should be choosing i have tried tons in my last 10 years of editing with davinci resolve and i have settled on this color science davinci yrgb i have edited a lot of times in davinci yrgb color managed it was good but i am really happy with this setting then timeline color space if you have chosen this just unclick this and then you do timeline color space da vinci wide gamut intermediate okay and if you're a mac user choose output color space rec 709a to get super accurate color when you are exporting the video if you're a window user then you should be choosing rec 709 gamma 2.4 just copy these settings blindly it, it would all make sense later if you really want accurate colors from your videos then really choose these settings so if you're a window user choose this i wouldn't do it because i am mac user and here i don't change anything about the lots you can also ch change these later so really don't worry about that and then we go to general options here as well i just don't change anything camera raw nothing here capture playback if nothing is like this in your system change it to this setting it would save your life <laughs> yep i don't change anything subtitles this setting you can change later so i won't worry about it fusion nothing fair light nothing path mapping nothing so here I made some changes but I don't want to save it but if you want to save it you can of course save it and what you can also do you go to this three dots here and then you do that's what I have done save current settings as default preset so what would happen is that every time you open the Venture Resolve all these settings would be preserved so I have some different different settings for different different projects or different different types of videos i edit but my default setting is this i just chose the use vertical resolution that was a mistake but my default setting is this so you can do set current settings as default preset and then save it i won't do it but i would just maybe change the vertical resolution because we want the video to be in you know horizontal format i hope that makes sense so that was a general project setting 
we need to do some other changes as well and that's here so if you go on the left hand side on the top we have the winter resolve and then we go here to preferences what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing here memory and gpu so whatever memory you have just choose it to max so that that would help davinci resolve to you know run run the videos and everything faster because then davinci resolve would be actually using the real power from your system so choose everything to max media storage here i have chosen user id movies because that's where i export the files like if i have a final video if whatever is here don't worry about it we're going to be changing it later decode option i do nothing here if none of these is selected please select it here i honestly have never been here i only go to these places when i have to teach the winter resolve i have not done anything here control panel nothing in general we change something especially for mac user if you're a mac user choose this tick use 10-bit precision viewers use mac display color profile for viewers and automatically tag rec 709 scene as this one and check for updates if you want to update your davinci resolve regularly so yeah these are the four things you have to tick but you can also just uncheck this box if you are a windows user here i would check it internet account nothing nothing in users you have to change something what you're going to be doing is you go to project save and load and here what you need to be doing is you click to live save and what this does is that if for example if your system fails if you're editing a really big project if your system fails da vinci would have saved the one milli one millisecond before the project fails so everything is being saved in da vinci you don't have to manually you know save it like how i used to do in premiere pro which was a nightmare so da vinci is saving everything all the time so even if your project just fails everything crashes you can reopen the winter resolve and resume working on on where you left off project backups that also you should be taking timeline backups that also you should be taking and perform backup you can do it every 10 minutes so that it's sort of backing up the project but the live save is still on and then backup locations you can choose it wisely and really remember where you chose the location so i have chosen it here you can choose wherever you want color management cache management so whenever you're editing in davinci resolve the resolve kind of generates a lot of cache files which is like the files which is necessary when you are editing the to be honest i don't really know the best way to explain it but the easiest way to explain it is that DaVinci Resolve is also making some files, random files. It's generating the random files when you're editing any video and it is saving in a folder. And like a few months ago, we had to manually delete that every month because those little files would take so much space over time. And now you can like choose that DaVinci can automatically delete that. I have done 10 days, but if you kind of work on some video projects for more than 10 days just do it for a month just to be on the safe side because i'm sure that you're not going to be editing any video project for more than a month so yeah really do that otherwise your system would be so much full of all these random files which you are never going to use and if the cache files they also accumulate a lot that also makes the winter resolve a little bit slower so it's really wise to delete them editing i don't change nothing here color i don't change nothing fair light nothing playback nothing 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 so that was it for project settings and now let's get into davinci resolve and just go through all these different pages